This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how you can use PSD mockup files without Photoshop. And if you've ever taken a look at my website here on my portfolio, you'll notice that I like to take examples of my logo designs and apply them to real world scenarios uh, using these PSD templates. And this is something that you normally need a copy of Photoshop in order to do. Uh, but today I'm going to show you how to do this without Photoshop. So uh, the site that I use is called Photopia or Photop or uh, I don't know how it's pronounced. I don't know. I'm not affiliated with this site in any way. This is just something I came across when I was researching how to use these PSD files without Photoshop. What this basically is, is it's a web, a web based version of Photoshop. And from what I can tell, this looks nearly identical uh, to actual Photoshop and it works just as well too. So let me show you how it works here. Uh, you're going to go to photop, uh, photopia.com. I'll put a link in the description of the post. And what you do is you go to file, open and you look for your um, you look for your mock-up file right here I have this one I'm gonna use as an example I'm gonna click on that open it up and it's gonna open up the PSD mock-up file and if you notice here we have these three different layers this design is what we're gonna change if you notice here this layer is titled placeholder you'll see in the thumbnail a preview of the actual logo there if you double click on that layer it'll open it up in a new tab And what we have to do now is turn off the visibility of that placeholder layer to get rid of the old logo and now we're going to replace it with a new logo so let me minimize the window here and if you look over here you'll notice I have my logo.png file here I recommend using a PNG file with a transparent background for this sort of logo mockup and I'm going to click and drag this into the canvas here let me maximize the window and I'm going to scale this down. I'm going to hold Shift and Alt on the keyboard and grab one of these nodes down here just to scale this inward like that down to a size that's fitting. Right, right about there is good. And then I just want to make sure it's centered up on the page here. If you notice as you move the uh, design, you're going to get these red guides on the screen that let you know when it's centered on both the vertical and, and horizontal axis. And once you've done that, to, to put it in place, you just press Enter on the keyboard. And now it's placed there. And now we can go to File save smart object and you're gonna to have to give it a minute to process this is pretty it's pretty slow considering it's running on a web browser so it's you know it's kind of understandable and once you've done that you can click back on this original tab up here again you have to give it a minute to process and there you go you can see it took the uh, the logo and applied it onto this sheet of paper here as you can see and once you've done once you're once it's completed and you're finished doing this you can go to file export as and you can choose your desired format whether it be PNG JPG so on and so forth and uh, it will download it into your browser here let me show you as an example I'm going to download this as a JPEG go ahead and uh, quality I want hundred percent this is going on my portfolio I want it to look good there we go click Save and there you go it shows up as a download there in your browser and you should be located in your download folder so uh, I think that's pretty cool I think it's great that you can now create these mock-up files without having to use Photoshop so uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment down below at the bottom of the post and as always thanks for watching